so I did a little bit of framing without the time lapse going. But you can see what the plan is. Just boards I've milled over the summer. I'm actually running out. I'm gonna mill more one by just random and then do a uh, first strip, just like maybe a two inch first strip in between. So it'll be a pretty random pattern. I don't want to side it too far. I don't have the rafter cut. It's long. So I don't want too much wind pressure on that wall without getting it all tied in. So if I can maybe get rafters halfway, I'll go ahead and work on siding the rest of it. But it's kind of day three. I did a framing on the end without the camera last week. Dog is going crazy. I hope you can hear me okay too. It's it's windy and it's cold. It's like really cold. So I think I'm gonna take a break for now. Maybe do more later or tomorrow. I don't know about later today. It's supposed to rain. The weather's been crazy in Ohio. It's been warm and cold and the ground will freeze and then it's thawed by afternoon. I went into the woods this morning and uh, just cut out like a 16 and a half foot log that I wanted to make a few rafters out of. And I went in, the ground was solid as a rock frozen. And I mean, the tree was already down. It's, it was pretty easy to access. Like I didn't take that long. I mean, the ground was frozen solid on the way and when I'm coming out, it's turning to muck. It was that quick. So the weather's just been crazy. It's like 40 today is the high is what they said. It doesn't feel like it out here. I don't know. But uh, maybe a little bit more later. It's coming along though. I did get some uh, treated lumber for the rat border on the base there because it is ground contact. And I'm sure it'll build up with debris over time and get worse. I have a five foot door framed in the end down there. So that'll just be like a big one piece solid shed door that I can take material in and out of the end. And this end I'm gonna do just, I think, I think I'm just gonna do a three or four foot on this end. Cause this lean to will continue the length of the barn. The same board and batten pattern that I'm doing here, just the random staggered pattern. That's what the gable of that barn is gonna get. I would love to work on that and get that cracking. I want to get this sawmill under cover. That's like my priority one right now. The barn is looking really rough. Losing more and more metal with every windstorm. But uh, yeah, coming along. So I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. If not, quit watching.
how you doing so got a storm coming could be snow a lot of it could be ice could be rain could be all three could be nothing i don't think it's nothing but anyway um got the roof slats down enough today and i just had my wife pick up a 12 by 16 tarp in town so i could get a temporary cover on this i don't know if this tarp will last if it, we get some eye winds it's liable to shred this thing um so my goal has been get this back wall enough and the top of the roof enough to actually get the saw under cover that's that's the goal of the mill and as long as that saw head's under cover it buys me some time and i don't have to rush to get metal on it for as long as that tarp will last so i can work on getting the sides this end down here pretty shaky i need to get some more cross support on the end because that span the 20 foot span of that beam there's no collar tie in between the span of that beam so there's nothing to help steady this front to back through that span so i got to rely on my end wall to be very sturdy and have no flex and from the beam to the end where i actually have collar tie going through under the rafters as well so the plan is just a 10 metal roof the cheapest end i can get um of course i gotta finish siding then i'll have to get all my batten strips cut it's gonna be a lot of batten strips i'm gonna just do two inch i've decided so i'd say three maybe four more logs depending on the size if i mill them up that'll give me the rest of my four quarter material for my board siding um i don't know what i'm gonna do at the front corner on this side of the beam i'm thinking about just framing in a doorway like a man door uh, kind of like i'm doing on the ends only smaller so this end i got the door i'm gonna have a door because the lean to is going to go the length of the barn so i'll do board and batten siding on the gable of the old barn the lean to will extend out but i think it's going to be a lesser pitch where it extends out so i can get the tractor under so if my three point uh implements are behind or under that i'll be able to back under this wouldn't give me enough height to get under with the tractor roof so anyway that end will have just a frame door i'm gonna do a bigger door so i can carry bigger things in and out probably four foot on that end this ends a five foot door that'll just be like a great big shed door that i can carry material out towards my saw bucks and where i've been stacking the flitches Plus, I'm going to gravel an area right there this year. So this is all nice out of the mud. And I think what I'll do is I'll probably gravel this a nice maybe 8 foot strip. And then that'll get finished graveled underneath that lean too. So there's a long term plan. But anyway, this should get us through this storm hopefully. Hopefully that tarp will last. Um, it would actually help to get a little bit of snow on it because then that will help with the wind wanting to make it flutter in the wind um the green ash that i cut the other day man that stuff warped like crazy so when i was pulling my two foot on center it's actually flexing these rafters that i cut yesterday i cut those yesterday so it's flexing me all the way so Hopefully with time that'll all just kind of correct itself because these want to pull straight. Those want to pull on that on that uh, bow. Um, I think I have the crown up on all of them. They're just two by six. Well, actually, it's a true six, but it's a one one and a half. So it's a six quarter by six. So anyway, it's coming along. Um, I'll take the camera off the stand here and. I'll walk you around, kind of show you the underneath and how it's starting to appear and look like a structure, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Seems like a lot of work by yourself, but it's a lot of fun. I enjoy it because of not being paid by somebody, so I'm not stressing other than trying to get the saw undercover. So I really enjoy this. Cut your own lumber and build your own building. Can't get any better than that. So 
I'll walk you around and show you and that'll be the end of this video. So here you are at the back side. You've been seeing a lot of that. This is where I need to get some more X supports here, cross supports. So I'll go from this corner down to that corner and vice versa. Get this in short up because this is the span from that collar tie down there all the way to here. I'm not going to have any collar ties. So this section of the building is going to rely on this wall and then from there it'll be collar tied back to the building so coming along though it's getting a little dark probably not going to be the best exposure here but uh Saw's undercover, kinda. It'll block it from a lot. So, I have, uh, I've been stressing about getting this thing undercover and this is, this is gonna make me feel a lot better. And my sawdust will start staying dry. I'll be able to have better quality sawdust for chickens and if it's appropriate, I'll take whatever's left down to my sister for her horses. Coming along. Feels like a building almost. This is where I was talking about. Of course, that'll all get framed in. I'm thinking about just framing it in and maybe a four foot man door right here. And then I think I'm just gonna fill this with asphalt millings where I don't have my planking down on both ends. Because that asphalt millings, I mean it'll It'll really pack in there good. I mean, I've thought about it. I've never mentioned it, but I'm going to have to get some lights in here. This is going to be a pretty shaded area when this is said and done. I thought about some of the poly panels that let the sunlight through, but I don't know. Maybe. Maybe two strips of those. A little natural light. So, we got... Four or five inches of snow the other night. It kind of melted off, and now they're saying potentially the bigger one. I don't know. They could have changed it by now. Who knows? But, uh, hey, everybody take care. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe. That would really help. Please. Everybody have a good day.